What's up everybody, Spencer here from Combo Collectibles, and hey, happy Friday everyone, the weekend is finally here, which means we're coming at you with a pop news update. Uh, we're starting to do a weekly recap uh, every Friday with some pop news updates, so today we've got some pre-order info, some new leaked pops that may be coming soon, uh, as well as some new reveals from Funko, uh, so let's get started. So first up, we've got some pre-order info for you guys, the new DC Batman McFarlane comic cover pop is available for pre-order right now on Entertainment Earth. Uh, they said those are supposed to be coming uh, in May this year. Now, I know the first few, like the Superman ones uh, that came out like last year, they got super delayed, so hopefully the same thing doesn't happen with these. Uh, but it is a very, very cool looking pop. Uh, if you guys are collecting the comic series, this is definitely a must have. Very cool comic cover, and I do like the design uh, of the comic covers behind the pops. I think those are pretty cool. Next up, we've got some new Hot Topic exclusives that have been spotted at stores in the U.S., uh, so we've got the new Batman from the Batman movie, uh, as well as Guillaume from Demon Slayer and Mirio Togata, the Glow in the Dark exclusive from My Hero Academia. All three of those have been started to get spotted at Hot Topic stores in the U.S., uh, so if you guys are in the States, keep your eye out on Hot Topic social media. Those should be coming out very soon in the coming weeks. Uh, and if you're in Canada like me, we're usually about a month behind on stuff like that. So I'd keep an eye out for those uh, late February. Hopefully we'll be getting those coming to Canada. I personally need that Guillaume for my Demon Slayer collection. I'm not really going to go for the chase. I mean, hey, if I can grab a chase off the shelf, yeah, I'll get it. Uh, but the chases are selling for crazy prices. And usually my Hot Topic only gets like one chase in. Uh, so if I can't land it at the store... I'm just gonna grab the regular exclusive. I think that'll be a cool one for my Demon Slayer collection. Next up, we've got some leaked pops. A lot of people have been chatting about these online about Spider-Man No Way Home pops. They've been asking for them. They've been screaming for them in the comments. And we got some leaked info that looks like they may be coming later this year. Uh, so we've got a few of them here. There's Dr. Octopus, Sandman, Green Goblin, Matt Murdock with Brick. Uh, Electro Lizard Glow in the Dark exclusive. That one sounds pretty cool. Uh, and there is a Spider Man 3 pack exclusive as well, apparently coming. Uh, and also a, a single Spider Man pop, but with a Chase variant. Uh, so, again, these haven't been confirmed by Funko yet. These are just some leaked info that I've seen online. I've seen a lot of people chattering about these in different comments, uh, saying that they heard these were coming. Uh, there may be more. I'm not 100% sure. Those are the ones that people messaged me about, uh, and I comments that I saw that they heard these are coming. So hopefully those are coming out soon. Those will be really cool for your Marvel collections. Next up, we've got some Funko Soda news, which is really exciting. I love my Funko Sodas. They're way too much fun. I wasn't going to collect those, but I bought like three of them just to do a video here for you guys. But I wasn't going to keep them. I just bought them for the video. Yeah, that didn't work out. I have like 40 Funko Sodas now. They're so much fun. Uh, I can't resist the call of that mystery chase. But anyway, uh, so we've got a couple of leaked ones that may be coming soon, but these haven't been confirmed by Funko. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people talking about the possibility of an Ursula from The Little Mermaid, um, as well as a Black Panther from Marvel. I could definitely see them doing the Black Panther for sure. Uh, they really like the Marvel line. The Marvel sodas seem to sell well, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was coming. No dates on these yet, uh, but keep an eye out later this year. Maybe those will be announced at one of the events coming up. Um, and then we do have some that actually were confirmed by Funko. Uh, if you guys saw their fun TV this week, Again, I, I, I can't really watch the whole thing. They're, they're kind of cringy sometimes, uh, but it is kind of, so there's cool parts, so I kind of skim through the video uh, just to see the new pops and stuff. Um, but they did say that they're going to be doing some new Freddies, so there's a social media Freddy with a chase, uh, as well as a fun TV Freddy with a chase. So he's got the fun TV t-shirt on. Uh, that one's pretty cool. I'm not going to be going for those myself because I do have the New York Comic Con Freddy Funko Soda. Uh, and that's my Freddy Soda, so I'm happy with that one. Uh, but then it also looks like we're going to be getting a Yogi Bear. And of course the chase is going to be flocked for that one. Makes perfect sense. Uh, as well as a Gizmo. Uh, and again, that one's going to be a flock chase as well. So those look pretty cool. Uh, not sure when those are coming out. Hopefully later this year. So keep an eye out on Funko. They should be doing some updates on those soon. But those are the upcoming Funko sodas for 2022. Now it looks like Funko starting a new line of Funko Pops. The Make-A-Wish Pops. Um, they haven't said 100%, but I'm assuming a portion of these proceeds are going to be going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is really cool. I love when they do work like that and give back to the community. Uh, so that's awesome on Funko. Again, I haven't confirmed uh, what percentage or if they're doing that, but I would assume so if they're Make-A-Wish Pops. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like we're going to be getting BB-8 from Star Wars. I'm pretty sure that's BB-8. I'm way behind on Star Wars movies, so like, please don't, don't uh, destroy me in the comments if I was wrong about that one. 
Um, and then we've also got the Stormtrooper from Star Wars. Uh, then we've got Scully from Monsters, Inc., Winnie the Pooh, Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, uh, and then it looks like from the Marvel line we're going to be getting an Iron Man and a Spider-Man. Uh, so those are pretty cool pops, and like I said, if it's going to a good cause, thumbs up to Funko for doing something good for the community. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Again, they haven't said exactly when, but those are supposed to be coming out later this year. So next up, we've got some leaked Funko Pop info. And again, none of these ones have been confirmed by Funko yet, but I've just seen a lot of chatter about them online. Uh, and a couple of buddies uh, sent me messages about posts that they saw. Um, so apparently we're going to be getting some new exclusive pops later this year. So they said there's going to be an exclusive grumpy Tinkerbell. I think that one would be really funny if she's in her grumpy pose. Uh, as well as a Peter Pan with Shadow 2 pack. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to be a 2 pack with Peter Pan and then kind of a shadowed out uh, silhouette pop next to him. That might look cool for something different in a 2 pack. Not sure. There hasn't, obviously, there hasn't been any shots of these products yet because they're not made. Uh, these just may be coming soon. So hopefully in a few months we might get some glam shots of that, some prototype shots. I think that one might look kind of cool. Uh, then there's also going to be a Bambi with Butterfly exclusive. That should be a cute one for the Disney collectors out there. Uh, as well as a Cheshire Cat on head. Uh, so I'm guessing that's going to be when he's uh, standing on his head in the movie. That might be kind of cool for something different. I'm trying to think of how that one's going to look in the box. I think it'd be cool anyway. Again, hopefully we'll get some glams of these uh, in a few months. And see the cool designs of these new Funko Pops. Hopefully they actually do these. Uh, and then there's also going to be an Eeyore with heart, and that's going to be a flocked exclusive. Perfect for Eeyore doing the flock on that one. Now, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about London Toy Fair this week. A lot of people were super hyped. Uh, Funko Europe even made a post saying to tune into their live for some Funko product reveals. Although, to be fair, I think it actually said to see our new product. I don't think it was plural. So, in their defense, even though there was hardly any drops... They did say product, not products, but we were all expecting some cool drops. Uh, New York Toy Fair was canceled, so we figured London was going to have a whole shebang of new Funko Pops, and it was kind of disappointing. If you guys saw, I did a video on day one. Uh, I was expecting to do three days worth of videos, but day two and three, there were no new reveals, so I had nothing to report on. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, but on day one, they released the Batman uh, two-packs. There was the Batman and Joker, as well as the Riddler and Two-Face. Uh, that one's a glow-in-the-dark two-pack. And then they also announced the Valentine's Day Diamond-exclusive Star Wars four-pack. Uh, that one did look kind of cool with the diamond effects on it. But again, we were all hoping for a lot more info. Um, to be fair, they did announce a few Funko games as well. But we all want a new pop and soda info, and we didn't get any. Uh, luckily, Funko did post something saying that they were going to have some more Toy Fair reveals uh, coming very soon in the coming weeks. So hopefully we'll still be getting those Toy Fair reveals. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Combo Collectibles here because we will be reporting on that in our weekly pop news videos if and when they come out. Fingers crossed for some more Toy Fair reveals, you guys. I really hope so. Um, so that's it for today. It was kind of a light week. Uh, like I said, I was expecting to do a lot more on London Toy Fair, and it was kind of light. Um, so let me know what you guys are excited for in the comments down below. Like I said, for me personally, I'm just waiting for that Guillaume to come to Hot Topic. I can't wait to add that one to my Demon Slayer collection. Uh, but let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the comments down below. And like I said, make sure you're subscribed to our channel because we've got our pop news videos coming. And in between there, we got some awesome anime figures and Funko Pop reviews as well. So you guys won't want to miss it. Uh, but right now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday.